Hello, I'm Shraddha Amit. I'm a director at uh, Kshemavana, which is a naturopathy and yoga institute. And this is the third institute from the SDM Trust. We see a lot of articles, we see a lot of uh, uh, new reports, new concepts coming up about wellness and health and overall well-being. COVID caught us unprepared. We were completely uh, unprepared to face the consequences of COVID. Somewhere we realized that our immune systems, our uh, health care, uh, the way we took care of ourselves were uh, deeply in inadequate to face uh, disease such as COVID and we suffered a lot of losses. Suddenly the health industry, the wellness industry is seeing a surge as many people are trying to discover uh, wellness and health rather than a quick treatment for their diseases. In today's world, we have moved to a more fast-paced way of life. We have moved on to nuclear families. We have moved on to uh, working long hours uh, where both the uh, partners are working, the children are busy in their own lives, and we hardly have time to cook or to eat together or even to sit down for a simple meal. So our uh, lifestyles have changed. They have become more fast-paced. Our food has become fast food. Our lifestyles have become more fast, and uh, we have lost in touch with our natural way of life. The naturopathy system aims at uh, pushing us to slow down our busy lives, take a look at where we are and what our body needs, to uh, look for systems and to look for um, a rhythm which is suitable to us, and to find ways of uh, rejuvenating ourselves, to find ways of healing ourselves naturally. The first naturopathy center started by the SDM group was in Dharmasala, and it was called Shantivana. It had a very modest beginning. We had a 10-bedded hospital. Uh, we had a very rudimentary setup uh, with whatever doctors we could find at that time. The uh, concept was there, the idea was there, but we uh, could not find the proper resources to take it to the next level. But as the demand grew, as we got more sadhakas, more people coming in and uh, finding a better way of life, the 10-bedded hospital evolved into the uh, an institution that we see today. Shantivana grew up organically uh, with a lot of uh, trials and errors, and uh, we um, learned a lot along the way. Uh, but one thing that we saw was that our sadhakas kept returning. They kept believing in the system. They kept finding a lot of uh, positive energy and a positive uh, way of life uh, through the system. And, uh, the demand only increased. So the next hospital was built uh, in Udupi uh, called uh, Parika or Saukhyavana, and uh, that was also very well accepted by our sadhakas. Seeing that there was a dearth of uh, properly trained doctors, we started the first naturopathy and yogic college with a PG course in uh, uh, naturopathy and yogic sciences in Ujjare. And uh, today our students uh, have, have been serving different institutions all across the world. The project of Shemavana has been a culmination of this 35-year journey, of the learnings that we have seen over the years, of the faith of our sadhakas, and this has been an upgraded version where all our traditional values are still in intact, but we are also upgrading ourselves to deal with the changing trends of the day, the modern ideas, and the latest trends in wellness and health. When the uh, project of Shemavana was first conceptualized, it was meant to be a healing space for all the senses. We did not want to look, make it look like a hospital, a sterile environment where people feel like patients. Rather, we wanted to give it a feel of a home away from home where you could be comfortable and feel at peace with yourself. So the entire campus was conceptualized as an extension of your home space with very muted colors uh, and very simple furniture. We have a lot of repurposed furniture, uh, repurposed antiques from our uh, collection at Dharmasala. We have also got a lot of artwork and commissioned artworks here. Uh, we have developed a very beautiful garden with lots of greenery in the space so that along with the healing that your uh, body goes through, your senses are also engaged and you have a sense of 
wellness and happiness as you're walking through the campus.